Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you have not liked and subscribed to the channel, please like and subscribe to the channel. This is the place where you can learn Microsoft Intune. Today in this video, I am going to share you important update, which is uh, which is about updating your firewall configurations with the new uh, for for the new Microsoft Intune Network Services endpoint. So if you are a Intune admin, if you log in into the Intune portal, and uh, as soon as you log in into this portal, you will see the notification from today onwards update firewall configuration for new Intune Network Service endpoint. Right. So you have to, we have to update. Being as an admin, you have to inform your network team. Uh, to update the the firewall configuration, some IP range for the new Intune service endpoint. You, you can also see, or maybe you have seen uh, by going to the tenant administration, and here you see the action required. If you click on that, so you'll see all these details here, right? So what we have to do, I will not go through all this information, but I'm just. Uh, oh, I'm just uh, opening. Uh, I've ju I've just described some of these uh, some of these important points. So, being as admin, you should not uh, you should be aware about all these changes. So, as as I mentioned, right, we need to take some actions on this one, right? If you not take actions, if you not update your firewall configurations with the new range of IP address. The devices will not able to communicate to to the server right so the summary is by december by december 2nd of december 2025 now we are in september by so now we still have two months by 2nd of december firewall rules to include the new azure front front door ip ranges it is called Azure Front Door Microsoft Security for Microsoft Intune. This ensures uninterrupted devices and app management connectivity. You don't have to remove the existing and Intune endpoints from the firewall configuration. You just have to update, add the new new, new IP range. So, for what you have to do. Uh, I'm sure most of the admin you know are up managing the firewall but in case somehow uh, if if you're not managing then you must notify your network team to implement the changes so as a part of Microsoft ongoing Azure secure future initiative SFI so what is SFI if you just open it uh, so the SFI is like Microsoft run on trust trust and trust right Right, so uh, you can re read all these what, what is uh, secure future initiatives. Uh, so Microsoft is focusing on security, and since we 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 operating in the cloud cloud environment, so make sure uh, they want to ensure that all these cloud infrastructures or or the data should be encrypted and secure so starting on starting on or shortly after this second of december 2025 the network service endpoint for microsoft intune will also use the azure front door ip addresses this improvement support better alignment with the modern security practices and the over time it will make it easier for the organizations using multiple Microsoft products to manage and maintain their firewall configurations. So as a result, being as a customer, uh, they asking us to uh, to add these network firewall configuration in the third party applications to enable the proper function of Intune device and app management. This change will affect the customer using a firewall allow list that allow any outbound traffic based on the IP addresses on Azure services tag. Microsoft recommendings, as I mentioned, you should not remove any existing network endpoints required for Microsoft Intune. Additional, additional network endpoints are documented as a part of the Azure front door. Right, so uh, I'm sure most of these uh, public cloud. So if you open this link, 
uh, you will see you can download the Azure IP range and service stacks for the public cloud uh, or if you are a government cloud right US government you can download this and these ranges are those listed in the JSON file linked above and can be found by Azure uh, front directory so I have opened this one and you see here this is for public crowd uh, and you see uh, service stacks and all this requirement so uh, it, it has also the install um, install instructions and it's a JSON reader and here this one so let's download this JSON file we'll see I just downloaded this JSON file open okay and this is JSON file and if you uh, expand this one and you complete this one you see here I just search for Azure um, front door Microsoft security and the IP uh, ranges is this one 13.1.7.219.0.224 right uh, so you see this this Azure front door and these are the backing so we have to search on Azure front door Microsoft security so this is the JSON file and as I mentioned you can search this is the IP range right let's go to the act so how this will affect how this will affect your organization so if you have configured any outbound traffic policy from Intune IP addresses ranges to Azure services stack for your firewall router proxy services proxy server client based firewall VPN or network security groups you will need to update them to include the new Azure front door ranges with the uh, with the front door Microsoft security tag this one right as I mentioned uh, Intune require internet access for devices as, as you all know under Intune management whether for mobile devices manager or MAM if your outbound traffic policy doesn't include this new uh, Azure front door IP addresses and user may face login issue right devices may might lose the connectivity with Intune and access to app like the Intune company portal or those protected by MAM app policy could be disrupted right so what you need to do for uh, for this change right so ensure that you download the JSON file right before December 20, uh, 2nd of December and in, in notify your network admin and ensure that your network IT admin firewall rule are updated and added to your firewall allow list with the additional IP addresses document under the Azure front door right alternatively you can add the service tag to your firewall rules to allow outboard traffic on port 443 for the address in the tag if you are not the IT admin who can make this change notify the as I mentioned network your network team if you are responsible for configuring the internet traffic right and you can see all this information Azure what is the Azure front door what is Azure service stack and what is the N into network endpoint so I just open this one so this is the secure traffic to Azure front door right the, the front door actually features work based when the traffic allow flow through front door you should configure your origins to block traffic that hasn't been sent through front door otherwise traffic might bypass from front door right and we have application DDoS public protection and other security feature so you can see you can you you must have these are actually it should not bother being as a Intune admin network uh, team your network team should so know all this about what is the front door and Azure services logs and I but you can see what is the Azure services tag represent a group of IP addresses prefix from a given Azure services so you can read this uh, uh, these are the common cases you can see here right I don't want to go go through all this but you can and these are the Intune core services I think these are you already you must have allowed initially when you're using the uh, Intune right so you should not remove all these uh, IP addresses because these are the required 
but yeah as a part of uh, as, as i mentioned uh, they mention here Intune endpoints also use the Azure front door for communicating with Intune services. Uh, Intune services. This IP range is for part of the Microsoft security are added to the following table. So Intune a specific endpoints are referenced in the JSON file as I as I have shown you. Refer the Azure front door and services tag documentation into complete right. So make sure this IP range is updated. Uh, in uh, in your network firewall to continue services uh, without disrupting to the end users i hope you learn something new uh, and make sure you update uh, your firewall configurations uh, before second of december 2025 till then thank you have a good day bye bye